Hey, this is Chris from CricketUsers.com, and you can see right here it says Flash 1V, so that's something I gotta do, and I gotta do it right now. Uh, the Walking Dead's about to come on, I watched that with my girl. So we have the HTC 1V on Virgin uh, Mobile. Uh, what we had to do was go ahead and unlock the bootloader, I believe, to get root. Uh, once you get root, you're gonna go to MSL Reader, and go ahead and read your MSL. Go ahead and write that down, uh, if you don't change it. I'm actually not going to change it on this one. So then go to the phone and dial pound pound three four two four pound. I believe that spells diag. And then you go get this DM command service menu. Go ahead and enable it. And when you enable it, you should go ahead and get this HTC diag port. I'll include drivers in the written tutorial. Go ahead and update driver. Browse my computer. Let me pick from a list of known devices. Show all devices. Have disk. I'm going to point to the location where my drivers are. I am running a 64-bit OS, so those are the ones I'm going to use. It says they're not recommended. I'm going to go ahead and do it. It should work on Windows 7, Vista, Windows 8. I do have the latest version of QPST that I can find on this computer. So I'm going to go ahead and go to QBST configuration. Let that start up. Let's right click this USB modem. Go to the properties. Might take a second. Windows 8 is slower in some areas and faster in others. Well, go ahead and set this to COM port 15. I put all my dev devices on the same COM port just to make it easier and so that I don't have a million COM ports that are used. I'm going to go ahead and unplug it and replug it in. Sometimes it won't recognize it unless I do. I really hope someone's recording Walking Dead in HD on the DVR. Anyways. I'll go to ports, uh, shouldn't, well, I guess I do have to add a new port. We're going to add COM port 15, okay, this is QBSC configuration, and there we see the device right there, go go to service programming, we'll have the phone selection menu, it should pop up, we'll click OK, what we have to do is send this SPC when we read from the device, so ours is 658642. All right, go to the CDMA, and you're going to enter your phone number right there, and then your MIN right there. This is also known as the MDN up here in the directory area. Uh, you got to enter the directory number first, and then the MIN, because if you change the directory number later, it will change the MIN to the same darn thing. So then go to your roaming tab, browse, locate a PRL, go ahead and load that up. Then you're going to want to go to the... M.IP, I think it's mobile IP. Mobile IP behavior set is simple IP only. You're going to get a couple of errors. Uh, profile 0 is not enabled in mine, but profile 1 and 2 are enabled, and they have phone number at mycricket.com. This is all zeroed out over here. And then profile 2 is the same thing. Phone number mycricket.com, zeroed out over here. That's not even a valid Cricket account anymore, so go ahead and steal that or do whatever you want with it. PPP config, go to the UM, you want phone number at mycricket.com there, phone number at mycricket.com in the tethered NAI in case you want to do some tethering. Go ahead and type in the password cricket, C-R-I-C-K-E-T. Both of these are checked right there. Go to the AN, you have phone number at mycricket.com, and then you have cricket right here. Make sure these uh, required password encoding are on. That's how I've been doing it with all the phones, and it seems to work that way. Go ahead and write to phone. You might have to reboot the device at this point. I'm actually going to have to program it for a different uh, person's information because we just sold this. Once you get your device booted back up, you want to go pound pound data pound, which is 3282. You go get into your EPST menu, go ahead and hit edit mode, and then enter your SPC or MSL again. All right, go to advanced. First thing we're going to go to is RTSP slash HTTP settings. This is for your streaming media. Sprint, 
uh, runs Virgin, so they like to route all their streaming data through their proxy, and that slows things down, makes it impossible if you're on Cricket, though, to route, route it through Sprint's proxy. So you want RTSP proxy IP to be 0 0.0.0, .0, .0 not dash, z dot. Oh, wait, RTSP proxy port is 0, HTTP proxy port is 0 .0 .0 .0, .0, 0, and HTTP proxy port is 0. Go ahead and back out of that. Then go to the MMSC setting. Uh, we left the name as capital SPG. The MMSC, this is what you're changing, is HTTP colon forward slash forward slash MMS dot forward slash servlets forward slash MMS. MMS proxy not set, MMS port not set, and MMS protocol is WAP 2.0. If you want to, go ahead and give it all a reboot. And uh, at that point, you should be good and you should have a fully flash HTC 1V from Virgin Mobile on Cricket Wireless with Talk Text, MMS, and Internet 3G. It's an ICS device, just like the Cricket Wireless one, but you won't have Move Music, and there might be a wa uh, way to get around that if you use the Move Music card and are able to get it activated on the Move Music uh, plan. So for more information about this device and more, please like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, helps me out. It's the reason why I'm able to purchase these devices. Uh, visit our website at cricketusers.com and like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash cricketusers. Thank you.